everyone, it's nice to be back to talk about our first quarter 2017. A very strong quarter. We picked up from our strong year last year. We had production that uh, exceeded 400,000 ounces. Our cash costs were below $550 an ounce. Our all-in sustaining costs were below $750 an ounce. As a result, we're increasing our production guidance again for the sixth consecutive year. And as a result of that strong production and strong cost performance, we generated net free cash flow, which has improved our financial position and our financial flexibility going forward. In addition to very good production and cost performance in the quarter, we also had good performance in terms of moving key projects forward. In Quebec, at our Canadian Malartic operation, the Quebec government has improved our Barnat extension, which is an important part of the future of that mine. At our Goldex operations, we're ahead of schedule and we're below budget as we develop our Deep One zone. And we should see first production coming out of Deep One in the second half of 2017. So we've made very good progress on our operating mines and we also continue to move our Nunavut platform forward. We've continued to advance the road on Amaruk. It is now about two thirds of the way to the project from our Meadowbank mine. We also continue to work on our permits for Amaruk. At Meliadine, we continue to move construction forward. So we're all set to move those projects to the point where we'll see production in the third quarter of 2019. The key for us over the last few years was to continue to think long term and invest in the business. As a result, we find ourselves strongly positioned to achieve our growth objectives. We're trying to do it in a way which is very low risk. And one of the risks that we've managed very well over our 60 year history is our financial risk. So we leave the first quarter of 2017 with approximately 800 million in cash, well funded to complete the construction of our platform to get us to 2 million ounces by 2020. Over the last 20 years, Agnico Eagle has consistently outperformed the gold price and also consistently outperformed a peer group of gold mining companies. We've done that by being focused on growing the business in a way that we can manage, we can execute, and we can deliver value on a per share basis. A lot of that is driven off of identifying opportunities early, drilling those opportunities, and turning those opportunities into meaningful parts of our business by using our experienced team of mine builders and operators. We're very excited about our ability to execute and to deliver on our promises to get to 2 million ounces by 2020 and do it in a way which improves the quality of our business and drives value for our shareholders.